Hello friends, today we are going to solve CBSE class 9th maths exercise 8.1 question number 9. In a parallelogram ABCD, we are having a parallelogram ABCD, two points P and Q are taken on diagonal BD, means this is the diagonal BD and two points Q and P are on diagonal such that DP is equal to BQ, means they said this DP is equal to BQ. C figure show that triangle APD APD congruent to triangle CQB. So first we have to show that. So I'm going to make rough triangles here so that you can understand properly. This is APD and this is BQ. See, they said these two things are equal. Now, second thing, we know opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. This is a parallelogram, so I can write down these two are equal, so here also equal. And third thing, either we have to prove these two equal or any angle. I, I think we can prove these two angle equal. Look here. It is a parallelogram, so opposite sides are parallel. So we can say these two angles are equal. How we can say this to alternate interior angle. So we are going to prove that in triangle APD and triangle BQC. We can say given by given only we can say PD is equal to BQ. From where we are getting this given. Second thing AD equals to BC. AD equals to BC. How we can say opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. Opposite sides of parallelogram are equal. And the third thing we can say angle ADP equals to angle QBC. How alternate interior angles. So we can say by these three things, by side angle side, these two triangles are congruent. Therefore, triangle APD congruent to triangle. We have to clearly see the vertex. If you are taking APD, so here it will come CQB. CQB. By which rule? By side angle side rule. So, we, our first answer, then they said prove AP is equal to CQ. So, if we are proving this two triangle congruent, so directly we can say AP is equal to CQ. How? By CPCT. We can say AP is equal to CQ by CPCT. This was our first second answer. You can give because we need this in, in next answer. So, take it as result number one. Second answer. Now we have to prove triangle AQB congruent to CPD. So I am drawing that triangle here so that you can see. I want to prove AQB. AQB congruent to DPC. DPC. Again, we can prove this congruent with the same thing that we had proved here. We know opposite sides are equal, so this will be equal. Then they had given these two are equal. Now what we can say about these two angles? Look here, we have proved these two. We can prove these two are also equal. How? Again, alternate interior angles. So we can say these two are also equal by alternate interior angles. So again, in triangle ABQ and triangle DPC. These are the two triangle. Directly I can write AB equals to CD. Opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. Are equal. Second thing, DQ is equal to PD means we are taking away. So BQ equals to PD. From where we got this given. 
and the third thing angle a b q is equal to angle p d c again alternate interior angle alternate interior angles therefore we can say these two triangles are congruent therefore triangle a q b congruent to triangle c p d by which rule by side angle so side angle side rule and that is our third answer now fourth thing a q and is equal to c p means this a q and c p are equal yes we can say this a q and c p are equal by c p c t this a q is equal to a c by c p c t i told you take it as result number one here also we have taken result number one here it is result number two now with the help of these two i want to prove that this inner quadrilateral is a parallelogram so from one and two i say from one and two we get a p is equal to c q and a q is equal to a c so if in a quadrilateral quadrilateral if in a quadrilateral both pair of opposite sides both pair of opposite sides are equal opposite sides are equal then it forms a parallelogram are equal then it forms a parallelogram therefore we can say quadrilateral a p c q is a parallelogram so this way we can find this answer thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel thank you so much